everybody, it's me Alicia. I'm at home here in my kitchen and today I'm going to be creating a super bold, super pink look for my Cyberpunk 2077 cosplay using all Splat Hair Color products. So, let's do this. With Splat Midnight, you get really bright, bold results on brunette hair. But of course you're going to get more intense results if the hair has been pre-lightened or pre-bleached. This is human hair that has been pre-lightened by me, so it's just ready for depositing hair color. Today I have with me Midnight Clairette and Midnight Magenta, which is a no bleach kit. And I'm gonna use it on this lightened hair, so it should be pretty crazy, but that's just what I need for my cosplay. <laughs> I love tackling different hair color challenges for my cosplay looks. One of the reasons I specifically liked hers is because she has this ombre going on. It's a really dark, rich magenta at the root, but then it fades to a lighter as you go towards the end. And there's a way to control that, and I'll show you that as we go on. But first, I wanted to mention the no bleach kits are not only free of bleach, they're free of PPDs, ammonia, sulfates, parabens, so you can really feel good about putting it on your hair. Wet hair does not absorb color as well as dry hair. So because this is going to be like an ombre look with less color on the ends, keeping her ends wet allows me to control how much color gets in the shaft. <laughs> One thing to remember is after you put the color in is you do sort of have to work the color into the hair, not into your scalp, into the hair so that the color is evenly distributed on the entirety of the hair shaft so that you don't have any like splotchiness that will uh, come out of it. Okay, so there are a few different methods you can use to create an ombre look for hair. Everybody has their favorite. It really depends on what kind of a look you're going for. She has this really dark, sort of gritty hair color, bright and bold, but then it just sort of fades to the end, almost as if the hair was naturally losing color at the end. It's not really a deliberate ombre. Some people use conditioner to dilute the color before it even goes on the hair. What I would advise is Splat's own pastel mixer, and it's, a, it's basically a mix-in, and you can create your own pastel shade with it. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of it now to see how it works on these ends, just because I'm intrigued and I like trying new things. As always, take your time, <laughs> get the color on the hair, make sure it's evenly distributed before you wash it out. Because the hair was so light, it developed really fast. So I'm gonna wash it out and see how we did. <laughs> 